Hey everybody, it's Friday live at five-ish, I guess. <laughs> My day has just gone by so quickly. Thank you everybody for joining me at 10 a.m. for our masterclass. We have them all weekend long, so another one tomorrow at 10 a.m., Sunday at 10 a.m., and on Monday at 10 a.m. And then our kickoff for our next group coaching cohort will be on Tuesday, January 25th at 10 a.m. And I am encouraging you to share with anybody you think could use this information because it's there and it's free. I have these classes, they're about an hour long each. Today we talked about self-awareness, mindfulness, kind of understanding what's the story behind the story in our stuck places and how we you know, find ourselves kind of making those same mistakes over and over and over, so frustrating but it can happen. And um, tomorrow it'll be on compassion and how using compassion towards yourself really helps to kind of shift into a change mindset instead of just getting stuck in judging yourself and being self-critical over and over and over. Sunday, we will talk about bucking the system. So all those stories that other people tell us about how we should be whether those really serve us and when they're not serving us, how damaging that can be, how to make self-empowered choices in those places and move beyond that. And then on Monday, we'll be talking about self-care and how you can really shift your mindset completely about self-care. In fact, that being selfish and having self-care is the most selfless thing that we can do. So for those of us women in midlife who are caretakers of all the things, and believe me, I know we're caretakers of all the things, that is why self-care is so pivotal. So these are the master classes, 10 a.m. every day through that weekend, and please share that with anybody that you know. I realized late that I put it on the wrong platform. <laughs> So those of you on this platform following Learn to Love Your Story got to see it. Usually I only broadcast those live on my Take Back Your Life Masterclass. So my mistake, your gain. Um, however, I will be cleaning that up this evening so they won't stay on my um, regular Learn to Love Your Story platform. You can find them on Take Back Your Life Masterclass in Facebook. But you also can register for my masterclass at learn to love your story.com forward slash free masterclass. And that is where I would encourage you to go because I also will be posting those videos there after the fact. So they're all in one nice, neat place and you can bounce back and forth and read a little bit about what each of them covers. So enough about masterclass, right? Uh, it is January 21st. OMG. I can't like, I don't know. I, I think it's my age. I think somehow at this age, I now feel like time is flying. And I know that it's my son's senior year in high school. So that's part of it. Like, I think we're just like holding on to our little babies, all of us that are parents of these seniors um, as they head into adulthood. So that's part of it for me. But golly, like, I really just feel like it was only a couple weekends ago that we had holidays. So what in the what? It's January 21st, but it's January 21st. Here we are, right? So, um, we are headed fast and furious into February people. And I've got some exciting stuff coming up in February. So first and foremost, I am going to be doing a book club. Um, I won't be putting up anything about my book club until February. Right now I'm in master class and getting ready for group coaching. So you won't see any signups or anything like that until February. But be ready. The first book that we're going to read as a group, I'm so excited, is bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, Brene Brown, of course. Her new book, Atlas of the Heart, is so crazy amazing, crazy amazing, and right up my alley. We are going to be talking about all of these different families and emotions that she has researched and been able to pull out, and then we're going to be talking about the 87 different emotions that she has found for us and help, um, help you really understand what that emotion is. Did you know that adults only 
see about three emotions or only are able to articulate about three emotions. I'm unable to articulate anything because it's Friday, <laughs> apparently. But yeah, so that's the studies that she's had that have found this. And so even just having an idea of being able to articulate emotion shifts your ability to handle all of life's most difficult times, um, including this. So I'm going to start with that book. Won't have any signups for that until February, but I want to give everybody the heads up. I've had enough interest that that is something that I will be doing. Next on the list, and this one is, you guys, I'm super excited about this one. So we are going to be talking about sex in February, right? It's the month of love. And don't you want to talk about sex? <laughs> Uh, with Dr. Natalie, I'm sure this is right up your alley, right? I assure you this subject matter, it's going to be fun. So I'm going to be doing a series of my vlogs around this issue and I'm going to be doing um, some, some different things, meet and greets, whatever. I don't know. We're going to see. It might be something along the lines of what I did with the 12 days of Christmas where I just kind of gave away some free vlogs and free workbook and free time with me uh, in the mornings where we talked through that stuff. Um, the format of it, I'm not quite sure yet, um, but it might follow that 12 days of Christmas kind of thing. It won't be 12 days of let's talk about sex, but we're going to be talking about sex. Probably once a week, I'll be putting on one of these um, free workshops and we'll be talking through this idea. Now, you all know that I focus on women in midlife, right? And I do that because I do think that this is one of those areas in our society that's the backbone. You know, up here in Minnesota, there's been some um, bills that have been passed to put some more funding towards children's mental health. Huge area that needs a lot of work in Minnesota. Um, just not enough available for kiddos. Now, my theory is if we are helping the caretakers of those kiddos, we're helping those kiddos right? This is kind of my theory in general about women in midlife. They tend to be the backbone of our society. They are in the places taking care of our kids, taking care of us, and helping professions, in families, in communities. I want to help this group. One in three of these women are reporting clinical levels of anxiety and depression. Not just like I'm anxious and depressed a little bit, clinical diagnosable levels of anxiety de and depression. That's what the CDC is finding. Honestly, if that's what they're surveying, I think it's a little bit higher than that, but we'll, we'll just go with that. So it means you can't throw a rock and not hit a woman that has anxiety or depression or both right now um, in that, that age range of 30 to 65-ish. So that's even bigger you know, than what we normally traditionally think of as midlife, but listen, these are the women that are the backbone. There are caregivers and caretakers and, you know, the people that support the, the fabric of what we have as a society. If we help this group. We help all of us people. So that is why I started here. My stuff really applies to everybody, but I focus on that woman, that women in midlife um, group in my group coaching. And in this idea of talk about sex, this is the group that I'm thinking about. So we're going to be talking about why sex in midlife, first of all, like fizzles out for a lot of women. We're going to be talking about how body image um, and how the damaging body image of culture over time impacts sex in midlife for women. We're going to be talking about a lot of fun things. And I'd love to hear from you. What are some of the things that you would like to hear about? Because I certainly can always cater what I'm doing to what it is that you would like to hear about, right? All right, everybody. So that's what's new and coming, but what's happening this weekend is even more amazing, and that is Take Back Your Life Masterclass. So please don't miss it. It's a Facebook group. Take Back Your Life Masterclass is the name of the Facebook group where all of these lives are going to be hosted. If you haven't signed up, head over to learntoloveyourstory.com, click on Masterclass, You'll, it'll take you straight over there, or you can do learn to love your story.com forward slash mass free masterclass. And you can sign up there and you also will be able to see the recordings after my lives that are going to stay there until January 31st. 
Have a great rest of your weekend, everybody. Please like, follow, and share all of this stuff. It's free. I want to get it out there. I want to help as many people as I possibly can with this free material that I have. So please like, share, and follow that on all of my social media platforms, which is Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Oh my gosh, LinkedIn. It's really Friday. And YouTube, where I house all of my vlogs. Or just head over to learntoloveyourstory.com because all that stuff gets in a, integrated into there as well. But like, follow, and share this, please, 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 especially right now because people need this information. This is clinical caliber in information. It isn't just your regular coaching or just, you know, information that's on the interwebs. This is good stuff, you guys, that I've been using for two decades. And I want to share it with you and I want to share it with you for free when I can. So please like, share, and follow. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend.